so welcome all to the video on running playwright tests you can run single test set of test or all test they can be run on a one browser or multiple browser by default tests are run in headless manner meaning no browser window will be opened while running the test and result will be seen in the terminal in this video we will learn how to run test from command line how to debug the test and how to open the html test reporter for a better debugging experience we can check out the vs code extension but we will do that in the later sessions now before we start the execution with this command line i am going to make few changes in the project so first change is in the playwright.config.ts i am opening it in the visual studio code so we can see that configuration starts from here and in the end we have a block of configure projects for major browsers these projects include desktop chrome desktop firefox and desktop safari and others are commented out so mobile chrome mobile safari edge and google chrome will not be executed so every test that we run will get executed on chromium firefox and webkit so this will be like one test will execute three times that will be like three tests so i am going to comment this firefox and webkit to make the execution look simpler so the test will execute it only once and i am going to cut this project and paste it just below the configuration so this change i have made because i was facing error when executing respective to a certain project when i say project is chromium it was not executing and then after going through some a uh, stack overflow resolution i uh, found out that i have to paste it on the top side so this is the first change the second is i go to tests example.spec.ts and this is the title of the test so i am going to change the title to test1 for simplicity so after making these changes we are good to go with the command line first is running all tests npx playwright test copy the command paste it remember that we currently have only one test called test1 with title test1 and we have also changed the projects to only chromium so it will get executed only once the execution is starting so this is what is running one test using one worker so that is the one test called test1 and one worker is the one project that is chromium so this is pass second command line running a single test file in case we have multiple tests files here example spec ts is the only one present but in case we have more than 10 files something like that then we can execute specific to only one test by using npx playwright test and the test file name so this is the command for the same now similar execution will happen let's check the third command a run a set of test files so suppose in the tests folder we have multiple files then we can execute all of them here it is saying that we can also go into the folder suppose we have to do page folder then we can go inside that and say that all the test script files or all the playwright test files should get executed now i am going to create one more file and i will call it example2 spec.ts and i will change the title so currently it was test1 to test2 so this simplifies the process now we only need npx playwright test space tests forward slash so this will execute all that is present under the tests folder we see that running two tests using two workers so it executed example that was test1 and example2 which is test2 and two tests have been passed run files that have landing or login in the file name so basically if we have a file name that contains certain text then we can use it so i will change this to or we can just keep it as it is example2 and we can test it using this example2 so this should execute only the example2 file as it is executing example2 test2 
सो दिस इज द पार्ट एग्जाम्पल टू एग्जाम्पल टू एग्जीक्यूटेड वन पास नाउ रन द टेस्ट विद द टाइटल एन पी एक्स प्ले राइट टेस्ट स्पेस हाइफन जी एंड द टाइटल इन डबल कोर्ट्स सो इफ वी सी दैट आवर टाइटल फॉर एग्जाम्पल डॉट स्पेक्ट टी एस इज टेस्ट वन सो वी विल यूज दिस Yeah, we can see that example dot spec dot ts, which has title as test one, only that got executed and not test two. Running test in headed mode. So we are aware that till now we are executing in the headless mode, that we are not able to view the browser. All of this is happening in Chromium, but we are not seeing that Chromium was invoked. Now this way, if we add hyphen hyphen headed, then we can see it in the headed mode. Npx play right test file name. space hyphen hyphen headed so let me create this example dot spec dot ts now the execution will happen quite faster as we can see that it has completed and we were able to see that the browser was invoked so this is the headed execution next is a running test on specific browser so for this command we have made the changes in the config dot config file that we moved the projects to the top now npx play right test file name hyphen hyphen project is equal to chromium so by using this we can make this run in the project chromium only so before this i'll make one change I'll close the command line and let's say if in the config i provide all of this also so currently the config contains three chromium firefox and webkit so if i execute it it should get executed on all three of them but because we are uh, if we say project is equal to chromium then it should get executed in only one then we see it got executed once only because one worker one test passed we can also view the show report this also shows that test one was executed only on the chromium browser debugging the test since playwright runs in node js you can debug using debugger of your choice example console log any ide directly in vs code with the vs code extension playwright comes with playwright inspector which allows you to step through playwright api calls since see their debug logs and explore various selectors so now we will see the playwright inspector debugging all tests can be done using npx playwright test hyphen hyphen debug so copy the code now we can see that first uh, the playwright config ts we have three projects enabled which is chromium firefox and webkit and we have two files example one example spec ts and example two spec ts now it's saying running six tests using workers and this is the chromium browsers that is invoked and this is the playwright inspector here we have multiple options like record copy run the entire code so it will resume or step over so by using step over we can go one step at a time and here we can see that running six tests so how six means we have two tests test 1 and test 2 and each test will run three times so six test in total and we can do the step over so at line await page go to playwright dev so we can see that we are in the playwright dev page after that 
await expect the page to have attribute a certain attribute that is going to be checked so this is passed and it will click on get started so this is the get started now we have clicked in the get started and expect the url to have intro so this is the url that contains the keyword intro so now this is executed we come back to the log and we can see that it will run after the first test is successful it will go to the second and third and we can debug based on that so for now i will just resume it so this is the test run for the second time this will update here a little bit slowly so if i play, press enter then it is getting updated that this is the third run so we can debug it each time with different browsers so this is the third run for which firefox nightly has enabled so it is going as per this chromium firefox and webkit i will run till the end so now this is for webkit as you can see here this is a webkit browser so total 6 test parts and we can see the report here similarly debugging one test file so npx playwright test example spec.ts hyphen hyphen debug so this will be similar just instead of two files we will be debugging with the only one file that is example.spec.ts debugging from line number where the test is defined so in this file let's only consider this file we can debug where the test is defined so we can we can de debug from line number 3 and i will create one more test this is let's call this test 2 in the same file now we can debug either from line number 3 because test is defined here or we can debug from line number 23 and i will comment the firefox and webkit copy this code so we can first we'll try to debug with line number 23 so first let's see the command line one out of one so because we have commented other projects it will execute only in the chromium and it is debugging from line number 23 we can see that chromium is invoked and here we can see that the point is breakpoint is on line number 24 so it started from 23 and we can go from 24 27 and so on we can debug it so the point here is that we can only do it where the test is defined so only line number 3 and 23 if we try to do other let's see what happens we close this if i say line number 25 and debug then it's a, it gives an error that zero test using zero workers no test found so i hope this part is clear test reports the html reporter shows you a full report of your test allowing you to filter the report by browsers past test failed test skipped and flaky test by default the html report is opened automatically if some of the test failed so this line is important if everything is passed then it will not open the html reporter we have to use this command show report but in case if there are some failures then html report is opened automatically 
now let's run the most simple command to run our test npx playwright test remember we have now three tests executing only in the chromium three pass now this is the same command that uh, this is also showing npx playwright show report we can see that example spec tss test 1 and test 2 and there are uh, we here uh, right side we can see how much time it took so this took in total 10.3 seconds each test took around 5 seconds this is example 2 spec ts which took around 5 seconds and there are filters as mentioned in the documentation that we can see all tests only passed only failed flaky and skip right now we have only passed here so three of them are passed none of them are failed and when i go into the test one we can see that it was executed in the chromium browser and all the test steps are also present here like before hooks page on to based on the code we can see here in detail now the second part we will test control c quit this now the second part what it says is that html report is opened automatically if some of the tests fail so we are going to deliberately fail a test for that purpose what we will do we will do the debug part when the debugging is started i am going to close the browser and also close the playwright inspector so debug is failed we can see that automatically the html reporter has opened without using the show report command and we also got error here in the command line one failed for chromium and one skip that is the second one so for fail test we can see that test one is failed it took around 8.5 seconds total two tests zero pass one fail and one skip that is the last one in the failed we can see where the error occurred also i think so navigation failed because page was closed so it is giving a clear idea of the error and navigating to the playwright dev failed because the page was closed and this is the failed step also so here you can click on each test and explore the test errors as well as each step of the uh, test so this was all about the html report in this session we learned about command line how to run test from command line how to debug test and how to open the html test reporter thanks all for watching this video